Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. De Niro warned to shut up but didn't listen. Hit with devastating blow after Kavanaugh rampage. Just when I am tempted to throw in the towel on the current scene and those involved in the middle of it. First, some aggravating news. Shortly following that, something to suggest there might be light breaking ahead. From Godfather.com's Warner Todd Houston. Actor Robert De Niro has been turning increasingly to the left and making a fool of himself in public. Maybe some people are getting tired of his childish act because at a recent event the actor was booed for attacking Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh, the award-winning actor proves why actors often need other people to put compelling words in their mouths because De Niro once again made himself look childish with a foul mouth at a fundraiser for children's diabetes. Factor in those details a moment and the situation becomes especially repellent, a, a fundraiser, b, to fight a serious disease, c, afflicting children. De Niro transformed that event into his platform of choice for airing a tasteless diatribe against the president's Supreme Court pick. Was it really tasteless, you might ask? Read below, keeping in mind the venue, and you decide. The drinks, wine, and beer are flowing. But be careful if you have too much, you may end up on the Supreme Court, De Niro said slurring his words in a video published by TMZ. Plainly, although Justice Kay was the direct butt of the 75-year-old thespian slanderous jibe, it was actually intended as a blast at the fellow who nominated Kavanaugh, that would be, Donald Trump. One needn't look far to find proof of De Niro's loathing for 45. Bray Bart, the Goodfellas actor made headlines for saying fuck Trump. At the Tony Awards this summer, it's no longer down with Trump. It's FCK Trump. He said. To a high school assembly, what does the truth even mean today? I mean, if you're Donald Trump it doesn't mean anything. If you're cowardly Republican enablers in Congress you don't let the truth stand in the way of pathetically clinging to power. Our country is led by a president who believes he can make up his own truth. And we have a word for that, bullshit. Still unconvinced DT is not the actor's number one? He also slammed Trump as a congenital liar and a mean-spirited, soulless, amoral, abusive con artist son of a BTCH. It seems like, most of the time his Hollywood peers and fans have either been energized by his scrofulous snipes or not particularly put out by them, at least. So what happened at this most recent eruption? Godfather.com provides the answer. After he made his joke, the seemingly drunken actor was met with a sound his highness is not used to hearing, booze. More details from TMZ. Besides the fact that he butchered the delivery of the line, stumbling over his words, it's clear he chose the wrong topic to bring up at a ceremony for the Children's Diabetes Foundation. The reactions to his joke were mixed, some nervously laughing, others booing. I really don't mean to put people in boxes, but I would have assumed all along that De Niro is a liberal, hey, he's a professional actor born and bred in Manhattan, New York City. If that's not a given that one will end up being a politically correct, chichi member of the Democratic Party? It's a safe bet, at a minimum. What I didn't realize, is what a mean-spirited, venomous leftist the Academy Award winner has turned out to be. Yikes! He's clearly decided to partake, with profanatory brio, of the nasty progressivism which is all the rage, and I use that term advisedly, nowadays. It's truly a shame, too, and not just for ideological reasons. De Niro's catalog boasts an impressive sampling of the most consequential, most effusively celebrated films of the modern era. From a purely aesthetic perspective, not a few of his works are undeniable masterpieces. But the actor's hammeringly raunchy pugnaciousness on the political front is becoming an intensifying turnoff. No denying that. I can separate an individual's artistic product from the crassness of the individual himself only so far and only for so long. Bobby D is reaching that limit with me. As it seems, he may be with others, a few of whom, apparently, showed up to help raise money for kids with a dangerous medical condition and were subjected there into a shabby blast of an actor's anti-Kavanaugh, again, anti-Trump, opinion. One of the most compelling segments in which De Niro ever performed over the course of his widely faded and storied career is the forgiveness scene in 1986's The Mission. Sometime in the mid-18th century, a formerly hard-hearted murderer finds assurance of forgiveness at the top of a South American waterfall. As he finally reaches the moment when he knows his guilt has been washed away, his tears of grief, relief, and joy intermingle. Priests and tribesmen gather round, embracing him and celebrating together at the sight of a soul returning to God. It's thrilling cinema, indeed. De Niro is flatly peerless in the performance. In 2018, 
Robert De Niro is making it more and more difficult for me to appreciate his work in clips like that one. Maybe he could learn a thing or two from his character in the mission? Hey, Road. Enough already of the vile, theatrical hatred. Repent. Knock off the indecency and try to show a little public restraint. You might end up feeling a whole lot better about yourself, about life in general, and you might not get booed again by folks who've had their fill of your loudest shenanigans. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.